metro of Bulgaria. I really like the way Bulgaria do their transport system, especially the metro. You can pay with your credit card. If you are someone that you don't know how to use the machine, there is no cause for alarm. It's very easy. You just put your card, look at my wallet, it seems like this is the card. You put it just on, scan it, and immediately it's gone. It's easy for everyone. I think it's this direction I'm going, the railway station. Yes, we are here, Sadika. One, two, this is the stop, train station. So this is the train station. I'm going to take you guys for a tour around Bulgaria to visit some cities. The cities are very difficult for me to pronounce, some of them. So it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to my first destination. It's like a small town, very colorful. So from there, I'm going to Plod Plodiv and Plodiv. I'm going to go to Bogas, uh, Tanov, Sozopol, Varna, and uh, I think maybe come back again. So I think these are the ones I remember. So come with me. Let me get my ticket. So this is the train station. So we are going to Kopri, Koprivshita, something like that. Uh, the funny thing is that I cannot be able to use my credit card to pay. And, but I'm looking for a place to exchange money and uh, I couldn't find anyone. So it's like I'm very hungry and uh, I cannot buy food because I am paying with only with my card. So this is kind of... Uh, the kind of situation I am in because I forgot I was in Ori so I forget to change money right in the city center so this is also what you need to know because in some countries in the train stations there are exchange but here uh, right here in Sofia I couldn't find anyone and also it's difficult sometimes to find people who speak English so it's not that they are not friendly but most of them don't speak English so this is also what you need to take in consideration. And let me try my last. I've tried in so many places. Let me see if it will work here. Pizza with corn. I've never seen this one. YouTuber. Yeah, YouTuber. Uh, can you help me to ask her? Is he taking credit card? Don't speak English. Don't speak English. Ah, okay. Italian. Italian, yes. You speak si. Italian? Si. Parle Italian, no? Si. Okay. Poi dom e chiedere la la signora lì si prende le le carta credito perché non hai uh, il libro no, no. why where is exchange dove posso cambiare i soldi dove devi andare là in centro sono le, no no qua sono le bancarelle e ti dici che vuole cambiare i soldi exchange money eh, fuori qui Ah, okay. Gracias. Wow. All the shops in the train station are not taking credit card. You cannot pay with credit card. It's, this is amazing. 
So you have to look for like some bank to go and change your money. I don't know where the bank is. And let me look at my time because if not, I'm going to... Okay, I have about 35 minutes. It's very stressful to find a place to change your money because I even hugs the police. They cannot even indicate me well because it's not easy because not everybody speaks English. It's a kind of a very strange situation. Someone told me 200 meters from here, I can find somewhere to change money. So, excuse me, to change money. Change money is down there, across down. the, not this street, the next street. There is a red cross there blinking. Yes. There. Uh, okay, thank you. Everything is written in Bulgaria, so it's difficult. I have only 10 minutes left. Finally, I found so Western Union. I think it's here. I think it's here. I can change money. Finally, I hope you are there. Okay, it's here. So the only place you can be able to change your money is about 300 meters from the train station. This is the train station. And where you get the exchange is over this direction. So this is only how I can be able to share with you. But you know now there is no exchange in the train station. So very, very important. Everything is in Bulgaria and nothing is written in English. So I don't even know where I'm going. I only know I'm only looking at the time when my train is leaving. They only write only departure in English, but down there, there is no translation. So it's difficult. I go to arrive house, it's the same. So it's pretty difficult. So I have to always ask people, see? It is all written in, only the arrival in English. I'm kind of like a little bit confused, but I still, I have to ask people. So this is the situation. So this is how it looks like right here in Bulgaria. I hope other cities will be different. Hello, excuse me. Yes. I am going to this place, but I don't know if you can help me because everything is written in uh, Bulgaria, so it's difficult for me to okay, understand. This, this place. Go? Co uh, something like that. Oh, uh, uh, are you looking for the platform designs? Yes. Uh, it, is this it? Uh, can, is this yeah, way? Um, uh, if you are in Ori, I don't know if you are in Ori, sorry. Uh, yes. This, this, look at where I'm going. Copri. Yes, 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 I understand. <laughs> I said Copri. <laughs> Copri. <laughs> I don't know, the name is difficult, I call it Copri. <laughs> She's laughing. I think like the number, the six something, yeah, I don't know. Okay, um, I will take it. I'm from Borgas with the, the same rain. Uh, uh, you're, you're from, okay, you're taking the same train? Uh, yes, they take it. Okay. When you go on a train, mm. uh, somebody will come and uh, check it. Yeah, somebody will come and check it, okay. Yes. Is it the right train, right? Yes, yes. I hope, I hope. <laughs> this is this is my first time in Bulgaria and uh, my first travel train experience. Wow! Oh! I hope you like it. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I hope so. This is the train. Yes. Almost everything here is written in Bulgaria, which is normal. But sometimes they f they would have had little English so that travelers can understand. But. That is not the case, so it is very difficult, and also it is very difficult to find someone who speaks English here. So I run into some great guys in the airport, but uh, after then I found it difficult, except in the hostels or in the tourist areas you can find people, but in the street it's going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, so I got my seat number 28. I think I'll 
we're going to be arriving in a couple of minutes. Well, I met some Ukrainian family, the kids are so, so lovely, kind of joking with me, playing with me throughout. And I'm kind of even tired, I sleep a little bit now. Okay. This uh, is an old train, so you have to close it all the time. You're welcome. So, this is Kospi. Kospi. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's a small town. Let's go and see how it really looks like. So this is how it is. And as I've said earlier on, most time it's very difficult to find people who speak English. So you have to plan ahead, change your money in the city centers and um, come on time uh, to the train station if you are traveling by train because you might miss your train. So before you wandering around and looking for someone who can be able to help you, then it is late. So this is how it is. I hope I will find somebody that speaks English here. Yeah. This? Yes. Oh, this? Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. So it is, it is a very small place. So there is, this is the only bus. Is possible? Yes. Okay. So this is the only bus. And uh, I, I wanted to buy, I wanted to, uh, there is another one coming or not? Yeah, but there is another one after or not? Because I wanted to buy ticket, uh, train ticket. Train ticket, buy only in the trains. Only in the trains. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. It's going. So, wow, this is very interesting because there is no... When you go to tomorrow, maybe? No. 6.30 from, from the village is bus from the village. Okay. Can you... Uh, and, uh, buy ticket in the train. No problem. No problem? Okay. This is it. So we're going to... The price of ticket is uh, 3 leva. Th 3? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is my first <laughs> real adventure. This is now the real adventure. Because there is a village. There is no like public transport like as usual. So this is interesting. Okay. Here we go. Wow, look at the roads. Typical village. Yes. It's a small town. The train station is very far away and there is no public transport. This is the bus stop. Kamen, Kamen, Kamenitsa, something like that. I hope I said it. This is the bus stop, so it is very small town. It is my first real adventure. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.